individuality t-shirt and the same pink and bluey pajama now like I said I've got other pajamas which I'll be wearing soon <laughs> I hope you're all snuggly up in bed if you're not and you haven't got your pajamas on quick 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 run and get your pajamas on and you can pause the video and then uh, you won't miss out on the story have you got a teddy bear or a soft toy some sort. If you have, make sure you've got it with you for this story, which is from a book, again, one I used to read my daughter, called Old Bear Tales by Jane Hissey. One of my favourites, and in fact, my daughter used to have them on tape. She used to get them from the library. You won't even know what a tape is, but it's like a CD. Anyway, um, and we'd play them at night for her to go to sleep to. So now I'm going to read you one from this book. And if you've got your teddy bear or your toy dog or whatever soft toy you've got, grab it because I'm also going to sing my song about teddies after this. So this is the story of the winter picnic. Now, this book does not have many pictures. So I'm just going to read from it. So that means you can even just relax and close your eyes and listen if you like. It's called The Winter Picnic. Spring had not quite arrived. There were no leaves on the trees or eggs in the nests, and all the toys were well wrapped up and sitting around in the playroom. Let's go for a picnic, said Old Bear suddenly. A picnic, chorused the others, but it's cold. Then we'll take warm food and coats, said Old Bear. It's a perfect day for a picnic. Why is it perfect? asked Bramwell Brown, looking at the trees blowing in the wind outside. Because nobody else will be having a picnic, said Old Bear, so we'll be able to choose the best picnic place and have it all to ourselves. And nobody else will be using the picnic basket, said Little Bear. Or the blanket, added Bramwell Brown. That's right, said Old Bear, getting to his feet. Come on, everyone, let's go. Old Bear filled a hot water bottle and put it in the bottom of the picnic basket. Then he put everything else on top. He made the sandwiches with hot toast and wrapped them up and put them right on top of the hot water bottle to keep them warm. Then he filled a flask with hot soup and wrapped up hot buns, sausage rolls, baked potatoes in their jackets and a jar of honey. He packed a few other bits and pieces while the others fetched blankets, coats and jumpers. Soon they were all ready. There was just a hint of frost on the path as they marched out of the house, dragging the picnic basket uh, along on a little four-wheeled cart. We must be mad, said Bramwell Brown, but it's rather fun to be having a, the first picnic of the year. Where are we going to have it? I suggest over there, said Old Bear, pointing to the top of a little hill. It'll be a nice view up there. It'll be a bit windy, said Harry Bear rather doubtfully, and we'll have to walk all the way back, don't forget. Nobody was really listening. They were pulling and puffing their way up the hill. By the time they were halfway up, most of them had taken off their coats and some had even removed their jumpers. Harry Bear took off his scarf. I feel quite warm again now, said Bramwell, and I'm very hungry. At last, they reached the highest point. This will do, said Old Bear, spreading out one of the blankets and sitting down in the middle of it. The others joined him. They left the basket on the little path and unloaded the food. The soup in the flask was lovely and warm, 
and they all wrapped their paws around a steaming mug of it. The honey had gone a bit runny, and the butter had melted out of the sandwiches, but it all tasted good. In fact, everything tasted especially good, and in no time at all, the food had all gone. But when they'd finished, the toys began to shiver again. Come on, said Old Bear, it's too cold to sit still, let's play some games. They played a very quick game of hide and seek, and an even quicker game of hunt the acorn, and then they rolled pebbles down the hill. Rolling pebbles down the hill wasn't really active enough, and soon they began to feel chilly again. The hot water bottle is still warm in the picnic basket, said Bramwell Brown. Why don't we all get in with it for a while just to warm up? Rubbing their paws together, they all climbed into the nearly empty basket. Here's one of the bears here. I think that's Bramwell Brown, or I'm not sure. It's cute. Does your teddy bear have a scarf and a jumper? Oh, lovely, said Harry Bear, as his paws touched the warm hot water bottle. I'm as warm as summertime now. They all snuggled down while Old Bear told them stories of picnics that used to go on when he was a new bear many years ago. They didn't mind that the basket was a bit sticky with the spilt honey or that there were crumbs all over their fur. It's warm in here, isn't it? said Little Bear. I won't want to get out to go home. None of them wanted to get out, but as it turned out, they actually didn't have to. They had forgotten that the picnic basket was still on the little four-wheeled cart. Suddenly, a big gust of wind caught the lid and began to blow the basket down the hill. Oh no, cried Old Bear, help! But of course, there was nobody to help. Nobody else was out having picnics in weather like that. They were the only ones. All they could do was hold on to each other as tightly as they could and hope that the basket wouldn't stop too suddenly. It's when things like this happen, said Branwell Brown shakily. Excuse me. <coughs> Frog in the throat. That you wish you were having a picnic on a normal sort of day when there were lots of people around to rescue you. The basket bumped its way on down the little hill. Here they all are, in the basket. Cute. It jumped a very small stream and headed towards the gate. Duck! shouted Old Bear, and they all ducked, except Little Bear, who was busy looking for a duck as they whizzed under the bottom rung of the gate. If anyone had seen the picnic basket now, they would have just thought it was a picnic basket on wheels rolling down the hill. They would never have guessed that there were five brave picnickers inside. Oh, when's it going to stop? asked Little Bear. When it gets to the bottom, I should think, said Bramwell Brown, and he was more or less right. The little cart suddenly hit a log. The basket fell off the cart, and the five friends fell out of the basket. When they realised that they weren't moving anymore, they dared to look. They found that they were right outside their own front door. Well, isn't that wonderful, said Little Bear. A picnic on top of a hill, and we didn't even have to walk back. I think perhaps I would rather have walked back, said Old Bear, standing up rather shakily. But for the first picnic of the year, that's going to be hard to beat. Yes, said Bramwell Brown. Travelling home from the picnic isn't usually the most exciting bit, is it? And gathering up the basket, its contents and the little cart, they all trooped indoors for tea. And there's one little other picture of the same bear, who I think is Little Bear, when I think of it now. Cool story. Now, if you've got your teddy or your sock toy, Grab it, because my song's called Hug Your Teddy. Oh, where's my teddy? I'll see if I can quickly find. I know I've got a tiny one over here. Found it. This is my teddy. So hug your teddy. 
I'll sit mine up here so he can listen to the uh, song and I'll grab my guitar. Oh, squashing him. Come here, Ted. Where can he sit? Just here. He can help me play. There we go. <laughs> um, so this song's called Hug Your Teddy. And it's got some echoes in it, which you can do if you like. And it goes, you gotta hug your teddy. And you go, hug your teddy. Okay. And then I go, squeeze him tight. And you go, squeeze him tight. You gotta hug your teddy, you go hug your teddy with all of your might. You go all of your might. And you can do all the actions to this song if you're up and out of bed, but if you're not, you can stay in bed and just listen and do the, do the echoes and hug your teddy. Or you can just do the actions as you're lying down. Okay, here we go. Mm. You gotta hug your teddy, hug your teddy, squeeze up tight, squeeze up tight. You gotta hug your teddy, hug your teddy, with all of your might, all of your might. Cause they'll walk with you, and talk with you, and whisper in your ear. They'll say, say bye see you tomorrow have a lovely sleep and don't forget you can listen to all these songs on spotify or itunes or amazon wherever you listen to music and i will be back here tomorrow at the same time to sing you a song and read you a story sleep tight Mwah.